friends, Mrs. Heisinger here. I have a story for you to read. I don't know if you watched the other video first before this where we talked about the vowel teams. If you haven't, you can go back and watch that first. Or if you want to give the book a try, that's perfectly fine too. Um, but this is a story. It's from the book called K and Martez. Um, and this is not the first story in the book, but it was a really fun one. So I thought I would just tell you what the other stories were about so you can understand um, the background of this. So in the book, Kay and Martez, there's a bunch of different stories um, about these two friends, a girl named Kay and a boy named Martez. They meet in school, they become friends, um, and they hang out together. So Martez went over to Kay's house for dinner one day, and now Martez is returning the favor and he's having Kay over to his house for dinner. So this is a fun little story about what happens when Kay goes over to Martez's house for dinner. And when you look at this first page here, you can see the title is The Red Dish. So start thinking to yourself, The Red Dish. Oh boy, what could that mean, A Red Dish at Dinner? And if you take a peek on this page, you can see, just to remind you, I underlined some of those um, A vowel teams. Um, they are also in bold, but I just put a little line under them too. So if you want to get your finger ready, you can read along with me. Are you ready? Let's start. The next day, Kay has dinner with Martez and his mom and dad. Martez's mom and dad are from Mexico. They have a Mexican dish with peppers, corn, and rice all mixed up. There are two dishes of it sitting side by side. One dish is red, one is green. Are the two dishes the same? Kay asks. Nope, says Martez with a smile. The stuff in the red dish has lots of hot peppers. The stuff in the green dish has just green peppers, which are not as hot. So I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to think, huh. Red dish, red hot peppers, green dish, green hot peppers. It's a pretty good idea the family has to keep the two dishes separate. So here's the picture. You can see Kay's face. I'm not sure if she's so excited about it. All right, so if you just take a quick look before we read, I have the A vowel teams um, with the red. And then I also just pointed out some of the other uh, vowel digraphs we have up at the top. We have oi in green. Then down towards the bottom we have ow and oo. Okay, so just remember those and keep those in mind as we read. Martez points at his dad and says, My dad likes hot peppers. His dad smiles and nods. Martez asks Kay, Do you like hot peppers? Kay shrugs. She has never had hot peppers. Kay has some food from the green dish. She likes it a lot. She says, could I have some from the red dish? You can, but it's hot, 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 says Martez. We have a saying in our house. He is a brave man who has food from dad's red dish. Brave or perhaps foolish says his mom. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound very good. There's dad loving his red food, red dish food. Kay is brave or perhaps foolish. She takes a bite of the peppers from the red dish. Martez looks at her. His mom and dad look too. Do you like it? asks Martez. Kay's face starts to get red. She yells, Hot! Her face gets redder and redder. Martez sees that Kay is in pain. He brings her ice cubes. Kay stuffs some in her mouth and lets them melt. The ice cubes help cool down her mouth. <laughs> Look at her. She feels like she's breathing out fire. Have you ever had that feeling before? Have you ever eaten anything really hot? I haven't. I do not like hot food. Ugh, Kay says, sitting back from her plate. Those peppers in the red dish are too hot for me. 
I need to stick to the green dish. Still, Martez says, today you joined the club. What club? The I ate from Dad's red dish and am still living to tell the tale club, says Martez. Martez and his mom and dad all smile. They like K. And there's the picture, the green peppers, the red peppers, the green dish, and the red dish. So I want you to just take a minute to think, and then maybe if you can find someone in your house to share with, think about that story and see if you can make a connection. Does it make you think of any other stories you read, or does it make you think of anything that's happened to you? I know I can make a connection to it. Um, my kids have been a little bored during quarantine, and we have a big um, box full of mini hot sauces that someone got us for Christmas, and they've been testing out the hot sauces on chips to see what they like. And my older son loves the hot stuff, and my younger son is like me and Kay. And he says, hot, 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 and he needs his ice. So I wonder if anything like that has ever happened to you. I hope you liked that story, friends. Uh, hopefully I'll have another one to share with you next week. See you later.